next I'm just doing my best Even though I'm so stressed out Everything just feels like a test That I feel so depressed When I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me I do try to stay positive But I also stay real And this is fucking real right now Hi, welcome to me I'm about to go walking in the park for a little bit before I head home. Had an event filled day, but the post office is on the way and I hadn't checked it in a while and I got my first ever PO box package. So I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen as a reminder for anyone. It's my PO box. <laughs> this is so cool. This is my first ever package. Uh, first anything I've received in my PO box so far. So we're just, I'm just digging in. I can't wait till I get home. I actually really need one of these. And I'm literally about to cry over this. <laughs> it's a chicken breast shredder. I'm actually emotional. Um, there, there is a note. Hi Rosie, you did a stream a while ago and mentioned that the chicken was difficult for you to shred because of your hands, which is true. I, okay, that, I did say that. I hope this might help. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Much love to you, girl from Jessica. Jessica, thank you so much. No, that really, I just didn't ever, I just didn't justify the extra money because I was like, I could figure out another way to do it. But I, this is awesome. I wonder what other foods I could use this for too. But no, like this will help me batch cook chicken and um, use it in different recipes and stuff. So this is amazing. Thank you so much, Jessica. I I love that. I'm so excited about this. Thank you so much. But I've been wanting one of these. And so like, thank you so, 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 so much. Oh my God. This is incredible. I could probably also use this for like pork roast and stuff too, right? If you have any suggestions on what other foods you can use this with, let me know. Because I'm blanking. But I do plan to and will continue to eat like a lot more chicken breast. Um, that's so nice and thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome to me. And we've got another unboxing video. Again, this is like an accumulation of like two or so weeks worth of packages. I like to kind of save them up unless like there's something I'm in urgent, urgent need of. But a lot of this stuff is, again, just there's like some grocery items, some items, and I'll kind of explain as I unbox. There's also some TikTok samples in here um, that I got approved for. So I am so excited to kind of go through this. And we'll definitely be starting with this box because it's a little bit of a spoiler and we're going to get into it. So hi, I hope you all are having a great day wherever you're at. Um, you know, I just try to take moments and days like today where I'm feeling good and I'm happy and really just drink them in and cherish them. So I hope if you're having a great day that you're taking that moment of gratitude for yourself. And if you're not, I hope you just remember that that shit's temporary and you'll get through it. So let's get into the unboxing. All right. So it has been quite an afternoon. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up. I think I look better with my hair down so I wear my hair up all the time because like sensory wise logistically wise living in Florida having my hair down is just adds so much more to like the heat and all the bullshit see what I mean like I just look so much better with my hair down but whatever y'all have seen me busted and crusted and fully <laughs> on the internet so it's really not that big of a deal in my honest opinion let's get into the first unboxing here this is for some jordan's skinny syrup that i found on uh tiktok so this is not the only syrup that i got in this order but basically i have been unofficially uh reducing slash maybe don't hold me to quitting diet soda um basically at this point I've just kind of gotten to where like I'm not bringing uh like I'm not buying two liters like I used to spend um like 20 bucks a minimum a week on soda so I thought about 
Instead of doing that, maybe I could invest in some different things. So this is one of the TikTok samples that I got. Um, this is the Jordan Skinny Syrup Brown Sugar Cinnamon. Um, this is stuff that not only can, like, these are syrups I'm not only planning to use for drinks, but obviously, like, I make a lot of puddings and yogurt parfaits, and these syrups will allow me to be able to get really creative. And I do want to also, like, try to figure out different drinks, maybe adding a little syrup like this to some tea. Like, trying to expand my fun drink horizon in the sense of not needing to rely solely on, like, soda and all that. And any time that I can spend money towards smaller business over corporate business or big business, I will. It's not a perfect science. It's not a perfect thing. Like, um, I think it's just, especially within my tax bracket, it's not possible for me to shop 100% small business. I would love to. Um, but yeah, you can do that with, it says here, protein shakes, baking, cappuccinos, coffees, lattes, yogurt. Uh, there's a brown sugar oatmeal recipe. There's a lot that can be done with these. And um, it's a zero sugar syrup. So I will definitely be showing a lot of this stuff I'm showing you guys on my channel over time and giving you my thoughts and opinions and yada, yada, yada. So, ooh, okay. So this package I've been waiting for literally like two months now. And this was a re-up purchase of flavor gum. She's skinnier. She might be a little taller. I'm gonna double check the weight because I got some questions about that. But my ranch, I actually threw it out recently because it, it was getting old and the bottom was looking a little funky. And I was like, we're not doing all that. But I really like the ranch of Flavor God. And then, of course, Taco Tuesday. This is one of my favorite taco seasonings. I love it. It's so good. Oh, it's low sodium. That's cool. I think there is salt in it. It's low sodium, but salt is the third ingredient. I got some questions about that, but okay. Um, they're a little bit like, they're not 100% on my shit list, but they're a little bit on my shit list because uh, they ended up resolving it. Obviously, I got my package, but they, they, they pulled some bullshit and I wasn't a fan of that but I've been using them for years and the product is really quality and um they eventually got it fixed but it took them forever and then I did get a re-up on the buttery cinnamon roll as well this shit is amazing on bananas and strawberries um I didn't really love it on it's okay on peaches I just I didn't I don't know it just wasn't it didn't hit as good as like because with these on bananas get out of town so and then this is the whole reason I got the order and yes I got two of them because they're hard to come by apparently this is the chicken and waffles flavor god seasoning this shit on fucking sweet potatoes when I tell you that it's a religious experience I'm not over exaggerating these are, like sell out fast they're hard to get, and these are why it took me two months to get my package. There is no meat product. This is an entirely vegan seasoning, if you care about that. Um, it's basically a mix of blanched almonds as the powder base for the seasoning with maple syrup granules, nutritional, uh, inactive yeast. I don't quite know the difference there. And then it's just a series of seasonings, onion, powder, salt, paprika, white pow powder, white pepper, excuse me. Um, and turmeric, a couple other things. So this does contain nuts. This does contain almonds, if that's a concern for you. Um, cause all these other ones are just like, these two are regular seasonings. And then the buttery cinnamon roll has a base of, or it doesn't, it's not the top one, but it has coconut flour in it. Um, uh, along with the sugar, cinnamon, honey granules, and vanilla bean, and a couple other things. So. I'm a big proponent of Flavor God. Um, Flavor God helps me lose weight. Dead ass. It makes food taste so good. This was 100% my own purchase. This is a repurchase. I've bought from them at least three or four times in my life. Because, um, you know, I don't really need to make a purchase more than once a year, generally. Um, and I try to wait for really good sales. But I was just, like, 
fiending for some chicken and waffles. And so I ended up paying about $10 per seasoning, roughly, um, which is technically a sale price. But if you wait, sometimes they've got incredible sales. Some of their seasonings you can get for like $2 sometimes. Personally, I think the ketchup seasoning is ass. I don't really like it. The pizza is good, but sometimes it was just like weird and didn't really enjoy it. Um, I have a cayenne pepper based seasoning that you can sometimes get for $2 and I actually use it today on my sweet potatoes. I really like it on sweet potatoes and cayenne pepper has different health added benefits to it. So I've been using that one a little more frequently and it's got like lemon peel, um, well, like lemon peel in it and a couple other things. Um, it's really good. It's just like, it's just a very simple. What are you? Oh, I think this is just my deodorant. Okay. So, um, after this arrived in the mail was when I did, went to five below and I found that they sell these per, this exact deodorant per bottle, I think a dollar cheaper. So I paid $12 for a two pack and they sell them for $5 at five below. But I've really been into these aerosol deodorants and I haven't tried this specific apple scent on yet. Um, I actually have it over there and I'm gonna use it like when I shower tomorrow. This is the apple and white tea scent and I sprayed it in the car, it smells really, really good. So now I'm fully stocked on deodorant for a hot minute so I don't have to worry about that either. Um, that was really the only other thing um, body care wise I think that I truly need except maybe a backup shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so this one is also a part of my whole like, I'm, I, we have this like carousel thing over there and eventually I may go over there and like film myself kind of cleaning up and setting up this. I have this like little mini food pantry area and there's this like Lazy Susan turntable thing that my mom has that we're not, I'm not really doing anything specifically with. And so I'm, I think I'm gonna turn it into a drink station. And so this is my, my favorite Mio out of the four pack. It's the berry pomegranate. So I bought a three pack off of Amazon um, because I'm obsessed with this stuff. When, it, when I mix it with the lemon, splash electrolyte drink it tastes exactly like that nostalgic like berry flavored tube popsicle from when you were a kid but like sugar free and drinking that while I'm in the pool it's like the vibes are immaculate so rustic blessings I don't remember what this is this might be this might be more syrups it's heavy oh okay um Okay. Um. Thanks, I hate it. I mean, I might like what's inside, but this is about to cause a mess that I don't want to fucking deal with. Um. This, doesn't this make this more expensive to ship? Like, what the fuck is this? Aw, okay. I mean, this is very nice, but I hate this. It says, Rosie, thank you. Um, your order made our day. We hope you we make yours. If you have any questions about your order, uh, feel free to contact us. We'd love to hear from you. I'm truly grateful for your support in my small business. Aw. God, I fucking love small business. I'm not going to look at that because I actually genuinely don't know what's in here. Um, oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. This is... Oh, my God. I think this is... Okay, fuck it. We just have to go. Oh, my God. I... Hold on. Let me just show you real quick. Like... Okay, I think this is the, the two syrups that I got from a different brand. Okay. You know, I appreciate the fact, okay, see, but like, this is what I'm talking about. So, I appreciate the fact that they're trying to prevent bottles from breaking. I really do. This is well packaged for functionality, Um, but I hate it. Well, it came, no issue. So rustic blessings, you're good there. But my God, that is 
that is awful in the sense of how much I'm going to have to sweep after this. Oh! I bought more from the same company. This is also Jordan Skinny Syrup. I have questions. Did I? Okay. You know, whatever. Oh, I don't know. I will, I, I, maybe this was a reseller. I don't know. So, these other two syrups that I purchased are very different flavor profiles. Because these are going to be more for, like, my casual drinks. So, I've got peach and strawberry lemonade because, duh. There's so much I can do with this. I don't even know where to start. These do have dyes. I know I've talked about that in the past. But, um, you know, honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to survive this capitalistic society. So, I, I really haven't found solutions that I'm really happy with. That uh, if it's like diet soda versus like non-diet soda options, a lot of them are not dye-free. So, and I wanted to try this out. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of people have talked about, like, water talk and being, like, a water talk girly or whatever. And I don't know if that's, like, fully the, the direction I'm going to go in. Um, but I definitely will be, like, I have all those electrolytes. I have all this stuff. So, and, like, I am curious to bake with and, like, cook with a lot of these, too. And like adding, I, I, I could get creative with these in protein shakes as well. So like I have the, one of the biggest reasons I've like invested in some of these syrups, cause this isn't it. I got, I have more, um, is because I have so many functions I can use them for that will help me not get bored on this health journey that I'm on. Okay, cool. So this is a hair cutting kit. Um, I, a long time ago, bought my own hair cutting scissors. I have been cutting my own hair for at least three years now. Um, and so, I, the last time I tried using them, I really struggled to cut my hair, and it just didn't look good. And I realized the last two times I had kind of struggled, and I think it was because my scissors were dull, and I don't really quite know how to sharpen them or how to deal with that when it comes to hair scissors. So, honestly, I just got a kit. Um, it comes with a couple of these clips, a you know, fine tooth comb. I actually don't know what this is. Um, I looked at it for a hot minute and like I was looking at the listing. It looks like a razor comb potentially. This might be for like shearing the ends or something. If you do hair and you can tell me what this is or what this does, please let me know. I might be too scared to touch it until somebody educates me. Um, because I, I like thoroughly reviewed the listing trying to find out what this was and I just couldn't figure it out. And then, so, and this was only like, again, like 12 bucks or something. So I got some pretty decent looking hair scissors, like regular hair scissors. And then I got some like shearing, uh, like thinning scissors as well. So I was like, you know what? If I mean, I mean, I haven't spent money on a haircut in literally three years. So I may as well upgrade my my tools if I'm going to be doing it myself and I mean it's not much of an upgrade you know what I mean it's like 12 bucks but it's going to be cute contained little thing here I've been debating on if I'm going to cut my hair before Orlando or not because if I fuck up my hair I might cry <laughs> Ooh, these are so cute side note these stickers this is from the other order so i'm I, I i don't know maybe i got i bought them from a reseller that's the confusing thing about tiktok honestly but i love the touch then we've got what's this oh yes okay so this is a magnetic uh phone holder for uh like i love different contraptions when it comes to like vlogging and stuff and um, I did try out that stick on the wall thing. It's actually, I'm looking at it right over there. Um, I, it's sticking to the wall. I haven't actually put my phone in it yet because I did that earlier today and then I forgot about it because the ADHD was ADHDing. So since I use the magnetic holder and I, I, if I had known this existed, I would have bought this a couple phone holders ago. 
um, because I feel like this is going to be one of my go-tos because it's fucking perfect. It holds your phone, like, magnetically. Shocker. And then you push that. And you can clamp it onto whatever, like the si a side table, um, anywhere that it'll, it'll fit, frankly. And then let me see something. Let me see if it stands up on its own. And it stands up on its own as well. So, like, without even clamping it onto anything. So, I'll be experimenting with this, see how it goes. If I hate it, I'll return it. But I have a feeling I'm going to fucking love it. So, and I'm so fucking hyped for this. Y'all don't even fucking understand. I saw this on um, Amazon for individual sale. And I was like, no fucking way. And there's this bodybuilding uh, woman on TikTok. Her name is Gabby. Um, she goes into like stores and reviews like all the different like muscle milks, protein shakes. Like she's super into her health. I think she does like OMAD and like maybe keto too, which obviously I don't do, but she's very like conscious of um, ingredients and, and different things. And she actually is, and I'm, I'm only mentioning this because it's relevant to her past, but she's trans and she used to be like, uh, one, like a male bodybuilding, muscular, very like into fitness. And then, uh, she transitioned and now she's still like pretty buff and like works out and is trying to get, I think she did wrestling. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of casually follow her. Um, but I really like her and um, she makes these TikToks where she like explains why these products are good or bad. And um, she gave these products like a really great review. Uh, I will say the way it was packaged though is a little sus and I'm really glad that they didn't burst. Um, but I wanted to try these. And see how I like them. But basically, um, Gabby said that all of the organ shakes are good. Except for the kids ones. And you shouldn't give them to your kids. Um, because kids shouldn't have as much high protein as adults. Which is why the kids version only has 8 grams of protein. But the quality of the ingredients in the kids is drastically different than the rest of these. So you'd be better off like giving your kid half of one of these. Because the, the ingredients are better quality. Um, if you're going to be giving your child that kind of um, item. So, yeah, I'm excited to try these. They are a little busted crusted. Um, this one especially got, like, pretty fucked up. <laughs> but I'm just excited to try them. So I only got two, and so I didn't have to commit to a whole 12-pack. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So these ones I might be confident enough to try sipping out of the container. Um... I have a hang-up about that solely due to, like, I've mentioned in the past, I did Atkins as a kid. These kinds of products low-key trigger me, but this one's not whey protein. It's pea protein. But um, I also have issues with, like, drinking milky things, anything that's, like, too much, like, milk. So um, I might I might be brave and just try a sip, but otherwise I'll just use these for, like, protein um, puddings or, or protein shakes, what have you. 16 grams of protein is okay, um, but it's, like, my powder has more protein. So, I don't know. This is a mess trying to get these open right now. Oh, this is a TikTok sample. Cool. I wanted to try these out. I thought they were really interesting. Um, these are electrolyte tap chewable tablets. Um, for, like, when I'm working out and stuff in the pool. I thought I'd give them a try. Um, they have strawberry, orange, lemon, lime, and watermelon flavor with the Venture Pal. So this and this, I need to, I need to like set aside a little area that are TikTok samples. Um, so I can remember to do what I need to do for those. Um, but yeah, there's 20, so there's a total of 80 tablets. And yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. Because sometimes I do, like, straight up forget to drink water. So that's why I'll use electrolytes. I think I got invited to that one. Because I don't know if I would have necessarily applied for that, like, on its own. But um, I got invited. So I was like, sure. I, 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 I am interested in that, you know. These are the rest of the syrups. So this is a different brand. I really like the price for these. This is the uh, Ceruvia syrup. So this is peanut butter cup. Again, all my syrups are sugar-free. Of course, you gotta get French vanilla, classic vanilla. You, I can start just buying like 
plain Greek yogurt in bulk and just flavoring yogurt on how I feel that day instead of buying like, you know, the smaller containers of already flavored yogurt. That's one of the other reasons because like again, that brown sugar cinnamon yogurt sounds delicious. And then this one I got as well, sugar-free blue raspberry. Um, you know, I feel like these were the same, like similar in price. No, these were slightly more expensive than this one because it came with a free gift. Um, yeah, I got all these little pumps that I'll switch out for the ones that I'm gonna use the most and work that out and see how that goes. But they came with little pumps. And then, oh yeah, of course, I also got pineapple. So, um, lots of variety, lots of mixing and matching I can do. I could probably very easily make, cause I used to get this drink at Starbucks back before um, October of 2023, back when I used to occasionally go to Starbucks. Um, I would get the uh, strawberry acai and I would sub water for peach juice and um, I would add the strawberry puree so it was a massive sugar bomb I don't want to know how much sugar was in that shit quite literally I drank that way up to getting diabetes so maybe don't get it but like it was fucking tasty actually don't get it because fuck Starbucks but don't drink that level of sugar in a cup from anywhere so I think the peach syrup and the strawberry lemonade might help me get those kind of combos you know what I'm saying but there's just like a lot I can do with these. And I also have lemon and lime juice in my pantry. So I could literally just make my own flavored drinks using these syrups um, and lemon juice and, uh, and have fun that way with it instead of, you know, buying soda. Mm -hmm. Maybe the thing I was really excited about isn't here yet. I have to double check. I just wanted to go ahead and film this before Orlando. So if more stuff comes before I leave, I might film that. Oh yes, I needed to buy some more straw cleaning brushes. Um, Cause I have one and I lost it and I couldn't find it for a minute. And I use reusable straws for my shakes. And I refuse to use grody fucking reusable straws. So this was a much needed purchase. Aha, vitamin K2 and D3, some supplements for stuff my one of my doctors recommended along with the turmeric curcuum 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 I don't know and it also has a uh, black pepper and tart cherry there's different benefits and reasons for this I'm not a fucking doctor if you think you need it consult one um but these are some more supplements I don't know y'all I get like severe medication anxiety and I have my entire life um, since I was a kid, it was like a problem. I used to get yelled at all the time because I wouldn't take my meds when I needed for anything, for any reason. Um, mental health especially. But, aha! Okay, so. No. No. No! Oh, Amazon, you're going to get a pissed off customer. You did not send me six fucking sugar-filled cheesecake pudding boxes. You are fucking shitting my dick right now. I'm so annoyed. I'll be figuring that out later. Anyway, here's the sugar-free chocolate fudge pudding boxes that I got. This is my restock of melatonin gummies. This is the brand I use. It's my favorite. Uh, Natural, you can get it at Walmart, Amazon, whatever. Um, I have like about a half-filled one, so I thought again, since I have the money right now i went ahead and ordered a backup so i don't have to worry about it for a long time this is just a box uh, a 12 count box of sugar-free strawberry jello so again there's a lot of things that can be done with this um i was wanting to you mix this with sugar-free uh cheesecake pudding mix and a couple other things and make like um 
and make like a, a healthy cheesecake. But oh no, 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 oh no, I got seven. Seven. <laughs> That's so annoying. They used one box for, I got a lemonade flavored Mio um, because I thought with like the strawberry lemonade syrup and um, the lemon flavored splash, I just thought it would be a good idea. And then this is my favorite flavored crystal light. I got a strawberry lemonade as well. Um, I'm planning to not have to rebuy these types of stuff for months, just so y'all know. That's why I have so many, because I know I'll eventually use them all. <gasps> I'm so excited about this product. When I found out this existed, I did something that I don't normally do. I literally stopped what I was doing, ran over to Amazon, and placed an order for just this. And I think it was about $5. I don't regret it. Even if I don't like it, I don't care. I need to try this because, first of all, this is a not Kellogg cereal. I am um, really not interested in supporting Kellogg if I ever can. Like, after what the CEO said and um, being someone who really doesn't fuck with companies that just, like, laugh in the face of people who they view beneath them and, like, you know, beneath the 1% and everything like fuck that so this is a not kellogg cereal and it's a premier protein 20 gram protein um mixed berry almond cereal which is very similar to like honey bunches of oats or special k uh mixed berries which are both like some of my favorite cereals period like special k berry was my favorite for years and years so i'm so excited to try this like even if i don't like it i want to just see um what the deal is so I, I had to I had to get it. Excuse me. I think that's it for now. Um, I think there may be a couple more things coming in the mail. Um, I gotta go contact Amazon and see what the fuck is going on about this bullshit because I'm baffled. So anyway, if some more stuff comes and I get to add it to the same video, it might cut to me in a different day. Okay, so quick update. I just immediately got done filming and I went on my phone. And I figured out what happened. So when I placed the order, um, on the on the picture, it had a picture of the blue Jello logo with the cheesecake. And um, because it was blue, I and I had searched sugar free, so I thought I was selecting a sugar free option. It actually technically wasn't, but the photo was misleading. So I went ahead and I requested a refund. I didn't even speak to a person. I just did it through the assisted, um, like the automated assistant. And I explained what happened and they refunded the whole thing. And they told me to, I didn't need to bother returning it and I'm gonna get a, an Amazon credit. So I will probably just honestly, um, I, what I need to do is I need to go through our pantry anyway. And there's some stuff I think I just need to go ahead and donate. So I'll, I'm gonna start like a donation bag and I'll take it to a food bank. Um, because I don't need seven boxes of sugar-filled pudding mix. I just don't need it. Like, that's not good for me. Um, it was a total mistake. Um, and I'm not happy about it. So, I, because obviously I bought seven because the cheesecake is my favorite. It's it's so great for any protein puddings. Um, you can, it's very versatile. It just tastes really good. It's my favorite. And I mean, for a chocolate option, the chocolate fudge is great, but... Yeah, so I will probably just be reordering some from a different seller and I will be triple checking to make sure that I don't fuck up because this was actually partially on me. Um, the listing did not say the word sugar free and I just didn't notice. Um, but the picture of the listing was not this. It was a blue box with the Jello logo and the word cheesecake on it. So that's weird to me i don't know maybe they do have like blue packaging for this not sugar free but my recollection was any of the blue pudding mixes meant they were sugar free or you know zero what is that yeah no zero sugar so um yeah anyway and it's quite literally like the entire box of this is the same calories of a fourth of this box and there is almost 80 grams of sugar in one box of regular pudding mix and me and my fucking pre-diabetes doesn't need that shit so i'm that's why i was so annoyed because it's just it's just annoying and i thought i was going to, have to go through a return process but this was not eligible for returns 
So I'm going to just spin this into a positive and donate because I've been wanting to do that anyway. So I'll, I think that's something I'll try to get done um, sometime when I get back from the Orlando stuff. That's the update. Hi, it's the next day. Um, some more stuff came. And I think most of this is TikTok samples, if not all of it. Um, so I know there's some really cool shit in here and I wanted to include it in this video. Um, so here we are. I put on my sunglasses because actually, do I look okay? Oh, I don't look that bad. I did fall asleep with my makeup on for the first time in a long time because uh, that's not a habit I normally have. So I had to like scrub my face this morning and I was like, I was looking busted. <laughs> <laughs> I love unboxing videos. They're so fun. I used to love watching them. I would watch them all the time. And it's like pretty fucking cool to be able to make them. Okay, so yeah, this is a TikTok sample book I got. Uh, stuck, it, stuck in there a little bit. So it's called The Inner Work. Uh, invitation to True Freedom and Lasting Happiness. I saw a lot of um, conversation about this. It's like, it's like, it's not just a journal, it's like a bunch of information and, but there are these pages, let me see, in the back, like here. So basically they break down like words of judgment, words of abandonment, basically the different aspects of inner healing and inner work. I saw some TikToks about this book and I was like really interested in it. Let me see here, like wound of overwhelm. So there are different aspects of trauma and how they can impact you and different type of wounds that you can, um, have and need healed for either your inner child, your inner whatever. And I want to, I want to read this and like kind of get into it. So I'm really excited that I have the opportunity to get into it. I must have rained this morning because these packages are a little soggy. <laughs> these are more books that I got from the TikTok shop. I'm very excited. So this one I saw going around, it's called the Lucky Girl Journal. I feel like this is better for me and like my current life and just kind of the stuff I'm trying to manifest or make happen for myself. And it came with the Shadow Work Journal. This one's more of an actual journal um, that I'm really interested in looking into and seeing if I can get into it. Um, let me see. That actually worked. <laughs> I just took a nail file, scrubbed it for half a second, and the plastic came right off. That's funny. <laughs> so, okay, what's cool about this one is like there's different exercises and it's got more spaces to like, it's more of a workbook than um, the inner work book is. But I love stuff like this and um, I wanna, I wanna work on some things with myself and I have the ability to do that now so i'll be getting into all that i'll be getting into all that when i get back from my trip these packages are literally soggy like i don't know if i can properly like show you like <laughs> i got a soggy box or three want this one <laughs> I'm not even joking I don't need to I mean okay work what the fuck was that about I don't even know man okay so I think I know it's in these boxes and I'm about to like geek out y'all I'm so excited about these samples you don't even understand like I've been wanting to try these this is what I insinuated what I thought was in the big box yesterday <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. So this is the first one. I got some uh, Seek Strawberry Lemonade Clear Protein. This is basically like a non-milky um, whey protein drink. And I am so excited because if this doesn't suck, I'm gonna be obnoxious about this. I, 
you just don't you just don't know you just don't know you just don't know actually, actually i can kind of smell it through the packaging it smells kind of good i smell i just got a little whiff of lemon oh my god okay so then hold on let me show you the next one and then i got a uh, mango pineapple so now you get why i got the strawberry lemonade and pineapple syrups because even if i don't particularly like if, even if there's stuff about these i don't particularly like i'm gonna try to make them work i have some ideas um some plan a's b's c's and d's because i want new creative ways to get protein in so i'm so excited you don't even know i'm just like i'm clearly geeking right now so i will be reporting back about these don't you worry don't you worry your pretty little heads i will be on the youtubes giving you my full honest review of these but i'm just excited to get the opportunity to try these um and the fact that i got approved for two of them i'm like geeking the fuck out about it so anyway yeah this is the uh tiktok samples that i got they all kind of came all in one shipment essentially which was cool um, but yeah, if any of you like just, I don't, I don't know how, I, I don't know, just if, if any of my mutuals, anybody wants this, let me know. I don't, I'm not going to do like a giveaway because I don't know the rules and I don't want to fuck it up. Um, but it looks like mine came with a bookmark, the one that I opened. So I'm going to leave this one sealed. Um, cause I, I don't need two of these. Like, I wouldn't have bought two of these. You know what I mean? Um, you don't, this is something you only need one of. So anyway. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it. A life worth living is a life with meaning. I'll do what I love till my heart stops. I got a pimple. I got a pimple. I'm just the epitome of sex appeal right now, aren't I? Yep. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh. The drama of it all. I mean, I love the personal touch of the note. <sighs> I'm stressing, guys. I am covered in paper bits and I tried so hard. You know, some of you in the comments are gonna be like, oh, you could have done this instead or you could have got us and they this instead and, da -da -da -da. and you know, you're probably right besties, but like, I'm operating on half a brain cell right now. So we're just gonna have to like, excuse it, okay? Okay, great, thanks, thanks, all right. <laughs> My camera is doing the most right now, okay, bruh. I will. I will win. Yeah. Okay. okay, no, this isn't what I thought it is. So that's okay. Um, this is still fun though. Rosie, edit this out. Heave ho! Oh, cool. I just knocked my lamp over. The chaos is chaosing right now. The chaos is immense. Oh, help. Oh. That hurt my hands really bad. This lamp is like fucked up and it's annoying. I love popping those little plastic thingy bobbers. It's fun for me. Anyway, yeah.